Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to create modern Mogart Tagle animations directly in Premiere Pro. No After Effects needed. I will guide you through a step-by-step -step process for designing, animating, and creating a responsive title with text and timing. Also, how can you save it as a Mogart template to use for your future projects? So without wasting more time, let's get started. First, select the text tool from the toolbar. After that, write some text on the program window. Next, select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle shape above your text line so that the text gets covered. Then go to the window menu and open the essential graphics tab. Under the essential graphics tab, we will have text and shape layers. Now click on the shape layer and drag it below the text layer so that the text floats above the shape layer. Then select both layers by holding on the shift key. Click on align center horizontally and vertically to center them together. Next, select the text layer and change the text color from white to black and click on OK. Again select the shape layer and change it to white. Now enable the drop shadow and change the shadow color to black. Let's make this shape a little bit rounded. I want to keep it around 5. After that, select both layers together by holding the shift key. Then click Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus B to duplicate them. Then select the move tool while both layers are still selected Click on above your text line, then hold on the shift key and drag the entire text to downward. Now change the text below. Let's write here your position. We also need to make it smaller. I set the font size to 40 and I will medium the text size. I slightly adjust the position of this text. Now select the shape layer and adjust the shape size to fit our new text. I'll also change the color of this shape. I would like to keep it yellow, but you can choose any color you like. Our title design is completed. Let's proceed to the next step. When I change the text line, we can see that the box didn't move according to the text size because it's not responsive yet. So let's see how to fix it. Under the essential graphics tab, select the shape one. From the responsive design, click on the pin drop down icon and select your name instead of video frame. Then click on small box in the center. Now pin is activated and the blue edge is indicated. Now we can see that the shape perfectly corresponds with our text. Again do the same thing for the secondary text. Select the second shape layer and pin it to your position from the video frame. And activated this pin box. And this will simplify our editing process significantly. Now our title is ready. Before going to the next step, let's introduce our brand new plugin. I just released my own plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro. It's called EditWiz by Enum. EditWiz is the all-in-one plugin designed for professional editors that offers over 1000 professional elements for any video editor needs. First, we have 122 effects divided into 9 categories. Next, we have 300 transitions across 20 plus categories such as 46 zoom transitions, 35 glitch transitions, 30 film burn transitions, 15 arcane transitions, 15 marker and tape transitions, 15 torn paper transitions. And all of these transitions are quite easy to use. Move the time indicator between the two clips. Now select a transition then just drag and drop it. And there we go. All of these transitions include sound effects. Alternatively, you can double click on an effect to apply it to your clip. And all of these effects and transitions are auto-resizing, which means they fit any resolution and aspect ratio automatically. Also, if you like a transition or preset, you can add it to your favorites. So we don't need to search for a specific effect within the categories, which will save us a significant amount of time. Next, we have 81 color correction presets, 43 text animators, 55 backgrounds, 66 social media animations, 55 title animations divided into 4 categories 20 minimal titles, 10 glitch titles, 10 modern titles, and 10 bold titles. Let's use a title animation and see how smooth and easy it is to customize. You just need to drag and drop to add in your timeline. You can adjust the title duration as needed and all of these titles are automatically time responsive. To customize it, select this layer and move to the Essential Graphics tab. 
Here, you can easily customize the title. Just type your first line of text. You can change the font if desired. Then, type your second line of text. You can modify the text and shape colors. Next, adjust the text size and tracking. You can also tweak the shape's height and width. Additionally, you can add motion blur and a drop shadow for a more polished look. Next, we have 60 lower thirds, 20 typography animations, 20 interface items, 26 timer animations. Lastly, we've added 200 high quality sound effects that are essential for all editors. And the best part about our plugin, once you purchase it, you'll get lifetime free updates. If you want an in-depth look at our plugin, please check it out under the description link. Before starting the animation, let's place it in the bottom left corner. So click on the selection tool. Now select the two text boxes together and bring them to the bottom left corner. However, you can place it anywhere you prefer. Next, move over to the essential graphics tab. Select the shape one and click on this little folder icon to create a group for the shape layer. Now move over to the effects tab and search for transform effect. Select the transform effect, then drag and drop it inside the group and make sure it's above the shape layer. Now select the transform effect and move over to the effect controls tab. Then drag the time indicator to the first frame and move 15 frames forward. So hold on shift key and press the right arrow key three times to move 15 frames forward. Under the transform effect, create a keyframe on the position. Then move the time indicator to the first frame and change the X position value until the first shape goes out the frame. Then right click on the second keyframe and make it ease in from the interpolation options. To make this animation more smooth, click on the position drop down icon. Inside this graph, drag this handle to the left and this will make first motion at the start and ease it out towards the end. To add some motion blur on it, make the shutter angle 180 degree. Now let's watch a quick preview. And the animation looks so smooth. Now we are going to mask the text. Move over to the essential graphics tab, select the text layer, then enable the checkbox for the mask with text and invert it. That's it. Now it looks perfect. We are gonna do the same thing to animate the bottom line. Now select the second shape layer. Let's rename it to shape 2 and click on the folder icon to create a group. Then go to the effects tab, select the transform effect, drag and drop it above the second shape. Select the transform effect, go to the effect controls tab, drag the time indicator to the first frame and move 15 frames forward. Under the transform effect, make a keyframe on the position. Move the time indicator to the first frame. This time, change the Y position value until this shape goes out of the frame. To make this animation more smooth, make the second keyframe ease in. Click on the position drop down icon to open up this graph. Then drag this handle to the right side and set the shutter angle to 180 degrees to add some motion blur. And the animation looks like that. To make it more smooth, I'm going to animate the opacity. Drag the time indicator to the second keyframe and make a keyframe on the opacity. Then move 10 frames backward and set the opacity value to zero. Now this animation looks perfect. Once again, mask in the bottom text line. So select this text layer, then enable the mask with text and invert it. Our intro animation is complete. Now I'll do the same process to make the outro animation. I just speed up this part so you don't have to wait. And this is our final animation looks like. Let's move on to the next step. We can make this animation time responsive, which means we can preserve the animation keyframes that we made all along. For example, I always want these keyframes at the start and end of this animation. We can do that using the responsive design time feature inside the essential graphics panel. Intro and outro of this animation that is around 15 to 20 frames. So I'm going to type here 20 frames for the intro duration and 20 frames for the outro duration. Once we do that, we can see a gray bounding box on our layer and these indicate preserved animations, which means I can extend this graphic or compress it and it will never change the duration of that animation. Now we are in the final and most important part. 
the animation that we made all along, we can save it as a template for our future projects. So right click on this layer and select export as motion graphics template. You can rename it here, let's say lower third. And you can save this mogrid file in your local drive or local template folder. Also you can add some keywords to make it easier to find in the template folder. Then click on OK. And we are done. Now let's delete this animation. To find this template, go to the Essential Graphics tab and click on Browse. And you will find it there. To use the template again, simply drag it onto your timeline and make the necessary adjustments. Simply just double click on the text and type your text as needed. Also, you can customize the font, color and durations quite easily. And these pay possibilities are endless. Now you can export the text animations you've created from scratch in your past projects. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please feel free to drop a comment below. Also, you can check out my previous video to create a dynamic storm rhythmic intro in Premiere Pro. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.